Main reason for this video is that I want to try to insert some object into 3D printing. Because 3D printing is a process which you, you can stop and if you design a hole you can insert some object in that hole and continue printing and basically that object will become part of the 3D printing. It will be built inside. And I was thinking what to insert and then I was watching a movie when they use some kind of magnetic dice uh, which can be set to get always the same number. And then I got idea, well, uh, to 3D print a magnetic dice and I would like to insert these very very small magnets. I bought this on eBay, two dollar hundred pieces, very very cheap. Two pieces, never trust to the dimensions on eBay. So I would like to uh, 3D print and I would like to insert two of these into dice to get number six because game from my childhood is the game I saw in English also is the name man don't get angry the most important is that the, to insert into the game unit number six and then later you can step so many steps how much you get on the dice and the six is the biggest number and also if you get the six you can repeat your throw so I would like to build a, a magnetic dice where a uh, magnet will be here somewhere on number one, it is on opposite side of the number six. If I use some metallic surface, then probably it should get very common the number six. So this is my idea. Let's try it. Okay, of course the design I started with the cube. And then I chamfer the edges, uh, I think one millimeter. The original size of the cube is 16 millimeters I measured from my original dice. And of course I added holes. Uh, holes are deep only 0.2 millimeters, that's one layer. And I will color in, uh, inside those holes so they can be more visible. And one more thing I did at the end is well, I can show you with session analysis. This is the hole. When it, the printing starts, uh, when this hole will be created, the printer will stop and then uh, I will insert the magnet and continue the printing. And basically this magnet will be built in this product. This is preview of the printing. 0.2 mm for number one hole, then uh, 0.2 mm for covering that hole. And then uh, this is the hole for the magnet, approximately 1.8 millimeter hole for is the side for my magnets. And this means I have to stop the printing on 2.3 millimeter layer height. And Next step was to insert commands into the G code, which will pause the printing. The easiest way was to use the tool on Prusa website, where I can choose the layer height, in my case 2.3 millimeters and the website will insert M600 command in G code. And all I have to do is to replace this M600 command with my code, which will stop the printing, give me a beep sound and then continue because I don't want to replace the filament in my case. Only stop the printing to re insert the magnet.
and this is what I got. But to test this I need something metallic. Let's try it on this whiteboard. Even she noticed that it's magnetic. So this is a bad idea. <laughs> well, it works, but uh, it slips too much. It's not round enough. So my wife told me it doesn't even look like a dice because it is too sharp. The dice must be much, much rounded. Six. Six. Because uh, this rolls much more uh, if it's in you know, a texture. On this surface, it, uh, you can see it slips. And when it slips, then it doesn't roll and magnet cannot work. Okay, version number two, which has to be much, much rounded. Of course, here I also started with the cube and then I added a sphere. The cube is 60 millimeter uh, dimensions and then I added 21 millimeter sphere and as you can see insert uh, intersect that means the common area uh, surface will be uh, in new object and then when, how I get this version and of course the rest of the design was to add those holes where the numbers dots which represent the numbers of the dice. And of course the last thing, very important, is to add the hole inside. Here you can see the hole where the printing will stop and here I will insert again the magnet and then continue printing. Let's try this version too. And this is my second attempt. Magnet is here below the number one, maybe it can be a little bit seen. And it is much, much rounded and uh, it looks much more like a dice. And it's rolling much more. Sometimes it's too slippery and it's not rolling enough. And then I made another version.
And this is my final version. It is from Flex Filament. This is the PLA. Can you hear the difference? And the friction is much better with this. So this means it will roll much more. And you will get better results. So this version slips too much. And if, if it slips, it doesn't roll, then the magnet will not uh, reach the surface. But this version uh, is rolling much better. The friction between these two is much better. Maybe I can try to illustrate somehow. It's, it's more than 45 degrees when it starts rolling the other one. One final experiment, what I want to try. How many throws do I need to get three sixes? In theoretically, it is uh, one to six is the chance to get one six. But six multiply six multiply six is 216. This means one to 216 is the chance to get three sixes. No cutting, I will just speed up the video if necessary. Let's see how many throws do I need to get three sixes. Wow! <laughs> Second attempt. Well, I really had a lot of fun with this <laughs> project, but uh, I don't recommend anybody to use this in the real game. It is just for fun. Actually, I will use this. Dice is as fridge magnets. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs>